everyone, and welcome to MMA at Midnight. I'm your host, Sean Yaretzian, and this is our very first episode. Before we start our UFC 219 preview, I wanted to give you a little introduction about the show and the website, um, and about me. Um, I've been a fan of the combat sports for about 20 years now. I started watching ISKA and K1 Kickboxing on ESPN in like the late 90s. And um, I thought it was the coolest thing. Growing up as a, a fan of like martial arts movies, real um, real life kickboxing was was so cool. So I fell in love with it, and I started like watching MMA like the early two thousands. Like any MMA I could find, any DVDs. Like I'd go to the store, King of the Cage. You know, I would I would buy, I'd watch any MMA out there. Like small organizations, Pride, UFC. I couldn't get enough of it. And um, the rest is history. Um, the sport really changed my life. I used to be like really overweight, and um, once I, I got into the sport, I, I decided to like start exercising and, and losing weight. And then I started training and you know doing instructionals. And then I went and trained at a school, and I, I felt like it, it really helped me turn a corner. So um, this is something I wanted to do just to like kind of give back, you know. All right. Well, now that aside. Let's get into this UFC 219. There's a lot of good fights tomorrow night. Um, Cyborg Home is just the main event. That's a great fight. This, a lot of people have Cyborg, you know, picking her as the favorite. But I'm a big Cyborg fan, and I honestly don't know if she's going to win. Holly Holm is a bad matchup for her. She has that rangy style, which is really, like, troubles uh, Cyborg. If you remember that Urena Bars fight... Um, a lot of those like straight jabs, straight punches, front kicks were really like uh, irritating and throwing off Cyborg. You know, she would come in and she would just walk right into some one of those straight strikes. And um, I think Holly Holm is going to be able to do that as well because she's very good at using her range. Even though she's not as tall and as lanky as um, Yarina Bars, she's, she's very uh, disciplined in her range. She understands it very well, you know, being a boxing champion. Um, and with all those, um, you know, like she has a lot of like head kick knockouts, you know, don't be surprised if she's throwing a lot of kicks, you know, I remember even before she got in the UFC, like on her access TV fights, you know, she was like landing those head kicks, you know, people thought she was just a boxer, but she showed them she was like, had really good kickboxing as well. Um, so that style is going to be a little difficult for Cyborg, even though Cyborg has evolved and changed a lot since uh, that Urena Bars fight. I'm not sure if it's her work with uh, Jason Perillo, but she has a lot better head movement now, and she mixes in a lot more straight punches into her combinations. Before, she had that shoebox style where it was just a lot of hooks. You know, she wouldn't uh, mix in a lot of straight punches, and she would, she would kind of almost like leave her head like right in the middle, leaning forward when she would start swinging. Um, she has a lot better head movement now if you watch her last few fights, and she does mix in a lot more straight punches in her combinations. So um, look to that um, being a difference too. So Cyborg has evolved, but the style matchup is still there, you know, so it's still a difficult matchup for her. So keep an eye on that fight. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Holly Holm won, but Cyborg, you know, her being so dominant, and um, it's difficult to take her out. Like, I, I, you know, I really don't see it, but it can happen. You know, with that style matchup, it could happen. So keep an eye out for that fight. That's going to be good. Oh, the Khabib Edson fight, Edson Barboza. This is going to be an awesome fight. Edson Barboza, been a big fan of his. Yeah, I remember seeing him the first time. It was, I think it was his debut actually in New Jersey at the Shogun um, John Jones fight. Um, you know, he's had that Muay Thai style. You know, lots of good kicks. We've all seen his like flying knee knockouts, the the kick knockout of Terry Adam. Um, he's really dangerous. And Khabib, we don't. We don't really know um, if he's going to carry any ring rust over. You know, he's had a lot of big breaks in his career in between fights. But we'll see how it happens, you know. He made weight today, so that's that's all straightened out. I know everyone was talking about his weight cut. Now that that's taken care of, let's just talk about the fight. We know what he brings to the table. We know his style, his aggressiveness, his wrestling. But he likes to throw heavy punches, too. So this is going to be interesting. And Khabib kind of like... Don't be surprised if something happens like what happened with Marlon Marias and Aljamain Sterling, where like Edson will be throwing a kick like Marlon Marias and like the knee catches him. 
don't be surprised if something like that happens tonight. You know, like a knockout with like a throwing a kick to like in the knee landing. Because Khabib kind of does stick his chin, like lean forward, like I was talking about with Cyborg earlier. Khabib kind of does that too when he's throwing those big hooks. So keep an eye out. Something like that might happen. You know, Khabib, you know, it, you know, everyone wants to see him in that Tony fight, you know, that's been like talked about and made a few times, but never happened. Everyone wants to see that fight, but honestly, Edson's on a three fight win streak, and his last loss was to Tony Ferguson. So I would love to see that rematch. If Edson wins, that rematch with Tony would be awesome. And honestly, I'd pick either one, Edson Barboza or Khabib over um, Connor if that was the fight. So that, that's that. Keep an eye on that fight as well. That's really good. This next segment I like to call Midnights of Our Past. It's just something I wanted to bring a little different. I want to recommend an event to you. Um, every week I'll do an event. Um, it's, it's like an event that has a lot of good fights or something that has some sort of meaning. And I, I, if you haven't seen it or if you haven't seen it in a while, you should definitely watch. Um, I'm going to do a little New Year's Eve special. We have Shockwave 2004. This was a great card. This had so many, you know, you want to talk about the New Year's Eve in Japan. This was, this was awesome. This was amazing. You know, you had Fedor versus Noguera, number three. This was the third match in between them. This was this was an amazing fight. Their first one was great. The second one was with the cut, and this one was just unreal. This was another amazing fight. If you haven't seen this fight, you need to see Fedor versus Noguera. Okay, number three. You should watch this. Vandalay Silva versus Mark Hunt. This is one of the coolest fights ever. This I. I even even though I've seen this fight like a hundred times, every time I watch it, I can't help but have a blast. It's such a fun fight. These guys like leave it all out there. They go for it. You know, there's soccer kicks, the atomic butt drop. There's everything in this fight. You guys need to see it. If you've never seen Mark Hunt versus Vandalay Silva, you need to watch it. Oh my God. Oh, the rematch between Krokop and Randleman. After Randleman brutally knocked out Mirko when Mirko was like unstoppable and everyone was getting ready for him to fight Fedor Randleman came and just knocked him out brutally in this one this is this is uh, the rematch so if you haven't seen it you know I'm sure you've all seen the highlight reel of the knockout but if you haven't seen the rematch check out Mirko's um, revenge on this one oh my god Takanori Gomi versus Jens Pulver this was such a big fight back then you know you want to talk about the battle between like the top lightweights and like these guys are sluggers. This this fight was like a boxing match. These guys were just going at it, like swinging for the fences, trying to knock each other out. And you know it it happened. But <laughs> you need to watch it and see it because that fight was was amazing. Even to this day, like I love watching it. You know it's such a great fight, a brawl. You see guys like throwing hands, like that's what it's all about. And that that fight had a lot of meaning back then. You know. Jens Pulver was considered the best lightweight, you know, and, you know, the, after beating BJ Penn and Gomi, you know, he was like the, the pride, you know, lightweight king. So, check that out. Rulon Gardner versus Yoshida. You got, you got Olympians, you know, wrestling versus judo. Another, the classic Japanese matchup, you know. Dan Henderson versus Yuki Kondo. Oh, my God. Like, that was... That's awesome. Like, <laughs> you can't beat that. Like, that that's a great fight right there. High and Gracie versus Yoji Anjo. That's a good one. Yoji Anjo is that professional wrestler who, um, who showed up at Hickson's gym and, like, challenged him and got, like, mopped. Um, yeah, and High and Gracie pretty much does the same thing. <laughs> so that's a good one. And this 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 other fight you need to see if you've never seen it. Anderson Silva versus Rio Chonan. Flying heel hook. Okay, if you've never seen Rio Chonan flying heel hook, Anderson Silva and, and Anderson taps so fast because that heel hook that was so tight and precise. Anderson had no choice but to tap or else his his knee and everything was going to get shredded. Like Chonan put that on so fast. Like to this day, I can't believe it. If you've never seen Anderson Silva's Neo Chonan, you need to see it. Okay, I used to go out and try to find these DVDs like 
I spent thousands of dollars on MMA DVDs. Now all you need is to get Fight Pass. I'm not sponsored by Fight Pass or anything, but I recommend it because it has all these fights on there. If you you need to watch these fights, go on there, sign up if you don't have it, and watch them because all those Pride fights, K1, the all, entire UFC library, like you can't beat it. Like these are some great events. Every week I'm gonna bring you one. You know I'll recommend an event for you to watch. And I hope you guys check them out. You know, give me your feedback in the comments. Like the video. And thank you guys for joining me. This is um, this has been awesome. And look forward to my post-fight show for UFC 219. I'll see you guys then. Bye.